well rugby as you call it over here yeah, yeah. but in in bigger clubs such as Leeds and Huddersfield they could have arrested all their main players yeah knowing they wouldn't make that yeah that eight kept all their guns used bled people yeah got people experience yeah fair call come into our uh, middle eights and never lost a game exactly yeah I get exactly what and that, that's that is tactics and that it's the same for everyone but when you think about it it um, it really isn't fair because we busted our asses all year yeah and so did Wakey yeah. Cass Widness Hull KR and now me, uh, us and Hull KR are fighting for yeah. for relegation spot fighting for livelihoods really aren't you and um, yeah and a way of life and for families, for contracts, for everything, and um, the inconsistency consistency through the year with, with Leeds and Huddersfield yeah. didn't have any effect on them because they won every game, and that's fair play to them. Yeah, but it's not really fair play that you put this hard graft in all year, yeah, get and to eight the, games, yeah. and it's you know people will probably say a lot of things about me saying it, but it, it just really isn't fair. Yeah. I, I really think if they're going to keep that system, if you're at the bottom of the league, you just get relegated. Yeah, get relegated, yeah. And that's that's consistency throughout yeah, yeah, the year. Yeah. And then yeah. and the then championship the... Um, grand finalists just get promoted. So they have something to play for yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, because, that'd be a better idea, wouldn't it? Uh, and it should be like the football league, kind of. I don't really follow football, but that, I'm sure that's how yeah. relegation yeah. spot... Yeah, is. and then you have the, like, the top three playoff, don't you? Yeah. To see who goes into that spot. Which well, is a better well, I, think, idea. I think what you're saying with the top, with, regarding the top eight there, is that everyone should, for me, start on zero. Like I yeah. said, because there's no say like witness to say they've got 18 points. Yeah. And say Ellen's got 32 points. Well, it, it's win, impossible, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, you know it's I mean? impossible, isn't it? Yeah. You know, so there's it's no there's, the, the advantage is Saints all the time. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, the, yeah, yeah. Home ground advantage then. So you get your home games. You get five go- home games as you're on the top two. Yeah. Or do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's how it should be. The advantage. I think it's not just you. Just I think there's a, a lot of fans as well saying it now because it is a bit. Dis- I mean, because for us, we think that Salford was definitely a top six team. Yeah. And if we was going into the top six, being twenty up points behind fifth place, yeah, there's no point then, is there? No, you know, no there's, not a, there's not another challenge for you no. boys then, is but, there? But well, um, ladder wise, but yeah. the challenge is still out there on the field. We're playing for nothing, but we're getting hurt the same. Yeah, and yeah. we're getting bashed around the same. We still get the same head knocks. We still get, uh, you know, we still have to sacrifice all the time with families, and there's a lot. It's a tough, tough game, and yeah. um, I think the people that are making the rules up the top, um, fossils the right we ones. call them, fossils and nuggets, in it. Well, I don't really know. I don't really know them personally, but yeah. it seems like they're in the pub making decisions. Yeah. Um, and they say, "Oh, we'll just toss this in and that in." When they really got to think of the welfare of the players. Yeah. And that that's not just because we're in this. I think it's for everyone. To me, it's absolutely well, tragic. Well, fingers come out with it as well, aren't they? Is it what? cocaine? The lad yeah, yeah. plays for the whole KR. <laughs> cocaine, you mean? Cocaine, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone calls him cocaine. No, I don't know why. <laughs> But, um, yeah, he said exactly the same in the Guardian. You know, he you know. feels the same, but yeah. you know, and, and unfortunately, we are going to see whether it's so players or OKR, okay, yeah. some quality players getting relegated. Yeah, this is fact. So there will be now. some rich pickings for the top clubs. Well, that's it. Well, probably got our most of them probably lined up anyway. But well, that doesn't <laughs> matter, does it? That's by the by. Players have to look after the future. Of course, they do. That's, you've got to look at it that way. It's a shark in here. So, so that's what, by the what's, by. what's the rules in Australia? Is that is that completely different? For their top teams, no, they've got the same same rules. Um, the setup, the same sort of setup. No, no, not at all. That, like the the same r- rule applies to everyone else. Um, they've got, uh, I think it's fourteen teams or something like that. Right. Um, and there's no relegation because it, it's Australia is not big enough people yeah. wise. Yeah. But um, there's a McIntyre rule, and that's like one play eight, two play seven. Yeah, yeah. Three play six, right. five, and then um, it's like a knockout system. Except the four top four sides get a second chance. Um, it, it's seems it's, fair. Though. 
seems complicated to explain, yeah, but, but there's always after that season you're always playing for something. Yeah. And um, the viewing's better. Um, and I'm not slagging Super League off, but the quality of play is better yeah. Yeah. because everyone's playing for something all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think that's important um, for for the sport in general um, because we've got, um, you know, we we lack viewers over here considering the size of yeah. England. Um, you need to make it exciting, exciting games and. Um, I think that, that's what the RFL is trying to do with this million pound game but, yeah, but I think they've gone about it all the wrong way and I'm not it. saying that because I'm a Salford fan and I'm sulking because we're in the million pound game but but when you see them throwing loads and loads of money to the uh, the French team yeah and the Canadian team the Canadian team it's like, the, well. it's well, like I, the fast tracking them into Super League exactly, and, you know, well, I, th- I think they haven't got it right here so why yeah. take it anywhere else pour exactly. the money here exactly um you know, there's a London t- side going down. Uh, there's there's a London side there. So take the money there. Yeah. Um, France is just like maybe New Zealand yeah. um, in the NRL. So can live with that. It's yeah. a good trip away as yeah, well. Yeah, it's a good trip. Yeah. Um, but, you know, leave it here in the country. Exactly. Um, Bring your team in from Cumbria. Cause Up bed to rugby league, do you know what I mean? It's... Um, I think they've got to have the people that um, actually know the game inside and out that have played the game, yeah. that know the welfare, um, not just businessmen that have never played the game and have money to throw around. I think that the, there's got to be um, some experience in the game or a lot of experience in the game to get it right um, so that kind of everyone is um, on the same playing field. Yeah, I get exactly what you're saying. Should we go to a song? Yeah. Do you want to introduce it, mate? No, I'll let Justin introduce it. Sonia what? It's one of his songs. Go on, Justin, you introduce uh, it. Sonia Dada, um, You Don't Treat Me No Good. No, 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 no,
son, your dad, I love you. Don't treat me no good going out to the RFL, won't it, mate? Yes. Yes. The RFL, so I'll be your answer. Our friends. Now, nah, I think. I mean, everyone knows it's not uh, rocket science, is it, pal? Anymore. It's no. You know, it's old news, but they have treated so for garbage. Yeah. They don't. They don't Especially for something that happened two years ago. So they dealt with it at the, at the time. At the I year. just hope it's a lesson for for my one to just realise that you know these people are muppets, and yeah. uh, they do need they do need that looking at. And my one's been right all the time because they're not the ones not moving the game on. No. Everyone can see it. I mean, I've seen Twitter today. Uh, we seen it last night in the game against Warrington and St. Ellen's a try, what was a blatant try, blatant try see it. and the video referee just said no try. He bottled see, it. He bottled it. Do you know what I mean? And it, you can't you can't do that. I mean you talk like you know <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's an high profile game and the referees are still not getting it right. Well they say decisions work in favour at work out at the end of the season, right? So the way I look at it is tomorrow's game we are all the right making decisions. Oh. We are, mate. But I did call it the other day that we'll get um, Benfim and we'll get Childs, and you know, and, and it, the, the two, the, they're not our two favourite people at the minute. Do you know what I mean? But well, it's not going to boil down to that anyway. The players I'm hoping will do not, mate. I hope we're not talking about on come Monday, mate, when we do another show. I don't want to be talking about referees. No, do you know what I mean? I won't be talking about Salford and how well the boys play. But okay, we, we will be talking know, about that. You I have know, no you doubt know, in my you mind. You know, through the season, all we do is talk about referees. Because it's semi retaking. I'm going to come eye into back. it tomorrow. Right? Well, I'm This is how OKR okay played. Come at your hard for 20 minutes, right? So as long as we're in it after 20 minutes. Well, last, last, boom. Week, last week they came in hard in the second half, didn't they? So, but so far they're going to be on the toes. So hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Who's this? Unprofessional. Oh, gosh. Right, sorted that out. Hang on. Who's better? Trotter. Oh, okay. Trotty, what, he, what he's bought his match ticket for tomorrow. Have you got his ticket? No, have you? No. I'll be going then, will I? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's been, it's been a, you know, it's been a hard season for the boys, and just will tell you that it's been a long season, and we all know, I mean, like I said, the six points just, it was just like a proper kick in the bollocks, wasn't it? Do you know yeah. what I mean? You, put a man down and they did put a man down well they put a lot of men down do you know what I mean it seems like there's been obstacle after obstacle thrown in front of itself why, why wasn't why wasn't the six points dished out at the beginning of the season and then Tim Sheens and Watson could then re- work on that and know where they got yeah. to be not look at the situation when you get Leeds and Huddersfield <laughs> see what they're doing yeah see where they are in the league and then, and, then, aye, aye. and then bring us down into the mix with them Leeds and Salford, Salford's up there let's get them down again because that's what they always seem to do don't they yeah the season before when they played what's it you know, Huddersfield and, and you know if, I mean, if I'm in that dressing room tomorrow and I was a player you know I'd be talking about and, and I'd, I'd, that'd be one thing what would drive me because I just want to shove it right up the RFL where yeah. it hurts you know because it, they, the, the players have got to look at it and just think they have give us an hard season they have took points off us for no reason because it wasn't the players yeah, fault yeah it wasn't you know that I mean? team's fault and that's it's wrong not, it's, it's not you know, that it's team's not been penalised for something that happened two years previous